we here turning it up on quarantine day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be cooking a little small lunch for the family. Um, I will be cooking thin pork chops. Thin pork chops. And yeah, so this quarantine life is driving us crazy and I'm hungry. So why not just make a video of me making pork chops? If nobody knows how to make pork chops or if somebody doesn't know how to make pork chops, Click on my video. Okay guys, so first of all, um, depending on how big your family is, um, you can get these at Walmart. For this one is $6.31. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And I'm just gonna season them with some lemon pepper and salt. So right now I have my Comal or my cast iron already heating up. Okay, and you're just gonna grab some And for me, I'm well for my family I'm just gonna do all of them So you're just gonna sprinkle Sprinkle, and sometimes I can use it with, uh, or you can do the pork chops with um, just salt and pepper. But sometimes I just like to mix it up and do different recipes, which that's what I tried to do for this video. <laughs> I, oh, oh me, not knowing how to cook. Um, I tried to look for a recipe for thin pork chops, but honestly, there was just for like regular pork chops. And right now, I do have those, but they're all frozen. So after that, you just do a little bit of salt. And that is it. So now, we're going to put them inside the cast iron. And these will cook pretty easy and pretty fast just because they are really thin. So for my sides, I think I will be doing um, mac and cheese and mashed potatoes or corn and mashed potatoes. And you flip them a couple of seconds. Let me get a plate and you flip them again. And I have some extra oil over here if you guys want to add more in case you do run out of oil. This is my butter. And I will be pouring on one of these two. One of these two pots because one is going to be for my corn and the other one's going to be for my mashed potatoes and that is it you got my pork chops and like i said you don't want to leave them there for too long just because they will burn because they are thin I'm just gonna cover them up so they won't get cold. And before I start my other batch, let me lower it down because I don't want that to get. Um, I, huh. I'm gonna start on my corn and my um, uh, what's it called? Mashed potatoes. So I'll do my corn over here. So there. 
And for my mashed potatoes, I usually just, I usually actually do my own mashed potatoes, but for now I'm just gonna use this one. Great value, and I'm just gonna follow the instructions in the back. Again, it's just sprinkles. These are my last two left. So I did the other ones off camera. Just sprinkle some lemon pepper on both sides. And then only on one side sprinkle some salt. Not both sides because it's gonna be really salty. There you go. It's not focusing right. There you go. So now I am going to do a finish my mashed potatoes. Turn that one off. I'm basically done with it. So this is one third of flakes. So that's one. And then the other one would be a cup. At the end, you just mix it. Mix it around. And it should become more mashed potato-y, I guess you can say. I don't need that heat anymore. Let me try my pork cups again. And, and these pork chops are just heating up um, just of hot, how hot, sorry, of how hot the cast iron is because I already turned off the, the stove. So we're right here doing my mashed potatoes. Go a little bit back. And it's done. So it's only gonna stay like that. That's it. Okay, now it's time. I covered my mashed potatoes. And then now it's time to take out the other ones. The last two. That is it. You got your eight pork chops. How does that look? Looks pretty good. So now I just need my corn that is over here, which is almost coming out. But I need to do one more last step. I'm just covering my pork chop. So mix it around. Here, let me bring you guys over here. Well, let me put, I'll put some hot water in my cast iron because I don't like the because once I start like washing it, you know how some of the oil sticks in there and like all the seasoning. So, I just like to add a little bit of hot water. That way when it comes to cleaning it, it comes out quick. Okay guys, so let me show you over here. So, after it is completely melted and boiling and everything, I just want to add some salt. That way you can have flavor. And that is it. You just let it cook a little bit or boil a little bit more, I guess you can say. Not that much because you don't want like soggy corn. So you can cover it if you want for a couple of minutes. And that's it. Look at that. So that's what I did. Just add water, hot water. That way it can just, um, like I said, all that seasoning just unstick, basically. Um, and that's about it. That's basically what I do uh, most of the day right now. <laughs> um, because of this whole quarantine. 
So there you guys have it. Um, I'm just letting the corn cook a little bit more and then it should be done in a couple of minutes. It's like pretty fast and you're just like back and forth, back and forth. la carrera, you're like, like hurry up. Like, cause if you don't pay attention to your pork chops and they're gonna burn. And if you don't pay attention to your corn, it's gonna get all soggy. And then if you don't pay attention to your mashed potatoes, it's gonna get, it's gonna get stuck to the pan or to the pot. Um, so you gotta be like, al tanto de a todo. Um, just keep an eye on every single thing that you have there. Um, so I know this video is going to be pretty small, pretty short. I just wanted to do a video where I'm just showing you guys how I cook. Um, simple, I guess. Everybody can do this. Um, but those people that cannot, that don't know how to cook, you know, there's my video. You guys already saw my video and you guys know how to cook. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to wait for that to cook for a couple of minutes and yeah. We should be done so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it was like all over the place and maybe you guys could not hear me as well but like i said i just wanted to make a video that way you guys can have something to watch during this quarantine life um because i am bored and i'm pretty sure all of you guys are bored because we cannot go out at all and if we do it's only for food and that's about it um but other than that yeah i hope you guys are safe and i hope you guys are enjoying this time with your family um with your loved ones and just trying to make the best out of this um because honestly it's just crazy right now and i am going crazy so hopefully i can make another video and next week or in a couple of days because like i said i am really bored so yeah, so that is it guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell on the side for you guys to get notified every single time I upload a new video. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.